A friend said to us one day in a gathering like this, Abraham, it feels like my thoughts are thinking me. And we say, it feels that way, but really what's happening is you thought, you focused, you activated a vibration, and now that vibration is summoning things that match it. So if you jump in the middle of this, and rather than saying, I'm going to control a thought from a place where the thought that you're thinking isn't very pleasant, any control that you try to apply to that negative thought only adds more to that negative thought. But if instead you are saying, rather than controlling my thoughts, I'm going to control my vibration because I care about how I feel. And then you sort of sneak in the back door by thinking about how you like to feel, by remembering how feeling good does feel. By finding the thought about the feeling, next you will find the feeling. And as soon as you find the feeling, thoughts will gravitate to that feeling that are the kind of thoughts that you want to think. Doesn't that make perfect sense to you? So, now you know everything we know. <laughs> Fly, little birds, and practice. <laughs> Jerry and Esther were introduced to angry birds on the computer. <laughs> At first it was fly little birds, fly, and then it was kill those little pigs, kill those little pigs. And Esther said one night, I'll be in in a little bit, and two hours later, she is still flinging birds with this computer app. She said, I'm not sure that this is the way to foster the most loving feeling within me. And then the next day she got on the freeway. She was on her way to meet her daughter and their children. And a dump truck got on the freeway right ahead of her and flung in her direction through the wind and its velocity, a box. It flew right over Esther's car. And Esther thought, oh no, I'm the pig. <laughs> and then two minutes later, she is taking an exit and the car in front of her clipped an orange cone which flew over Esther's car and Esther said I've got to stop playing that game I've got flinging things active in my vibration and we want you to know that as funny as that is it's accurate Whatever you spend your time doing, however you feel while you're doing it. In other words, at first it was fun, but there was this one window that Esther must have flung 5,000 birds and still had not accomplished what she had set out to do. And we have to say it was not joyful when they all went down. You don't know what we're talking about unless you've been flinging birds, but... <laughs> you get the idea in other words you want to pay attention to the way you feel because the way you feel the way you're feeling indicates your vibration and your vibration indicates your point of attraction and your point of attraction is evidence to you by the thoughts you're thinking it's evidence to you by the people who are coming to you it's evidence to you by the experiences that you're having you are the creator of your own experience because you are the thinker of thoughts but let's point it in a more powerful way you you are the constant generator of your vibrational point of attraction and everything that's happening in your life is happening in response to that and isn't it nice that you get two forms of dramatic feedback to let you know where you're at the first is the way you feel which is your indication of what your vibrational attitude is and the next is things that are flung in your direction because nothing is really flung. It looks like they're being flung at you, but really they're being summoned by you. They're being invited by you. They're being asked for by your vibration because there is no law of flinging. There is, there is no law of flinging. There is no law of assertion. There is no law of somebody else doing anything to you. There is no injustice. There is only a practiced vibration that a lot of times you've practiced without even know you've been practicing it. When you watch the news and the news shows you a distorted view of problems around the world, you allow the news to train your frequency. It trains you away from your vortex. It trains you away from your inner being. It trains you away from all things that you want. So we think it's a good idea to make a decision. We certainly would if we were standing in your physical shoes 
to do something that trains our frequency into the vortex in other words what could I do that would cause me right now to practice a higher vibrational frequency and the way to practice a higher higher vibrational frequency is to care about your mood and then do anything you can that improves your mood that really is the easiest way to go about it if you are feeling pretty good and you want to improve your mood focus specifically on things you like and that rampage of appreciation will improve your mood but if you're depressed and you try to do a rampage of appreciation it will backfire on you because you're not close enough to what you're really reaching for and the effort from outside the vortex will not give you what you want are you following 